Dean and Toby here and welcome to another Let's Make Crafts video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a confusing video, but you just have to pay attention and focus on this video. But it's really fun in the end and it makes a cool little craft project type thing. So all you're going to need for this project is scissors. Don't forget tape. I do not have tape here right now, so I won't be able to show you that much. But you need scissors, tape, and a piece of paper. Now, this is origami, so maybe some of you don't have square paper, but I'm going to show you how you can make square paper really easy without any measuring or anything like that. Now, guys, I'm going to try and show you this video as best I can, but I don't actually have a tripod or anything yet. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to try and show you this video as best as I can. So if you do not have square paper, this is what you need to do. This is important and you have to get as exact as you can on this so just take your paper like this take the bottom left or right corner it doesn't matter and you're just going to want to fold it up like that right about there make sure and just try and get it as exact as possible just fold it like this and then crease right here and you have to try and get it as exact as possible. It should look something like this. Kind of like a triangle with a corner or an edge or something like that. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut along this line right there. Don't cut. Like cut this, this rectangle right here. This whole rectangle. Cut it off. So you're going to want to press down on this paper. And you're going to want to cut right about there just as close as you get to the edge and cut all the way up and cut this whole rectangle right there off when you're done it should look somewhat like this like a triangle perfect triangle like that next you're going to do is you're going to want to open it like so maybe they're slipping you're just going to open it like so so it's like this so you have a square a perfect square so the next, you're going to want to fold this corner up to there. So you can have it any way. It doesn't really matter. But you're going to want to take this corner, fold it up, get it as close and as accurate as you can, and then crease it, and then press it down, crease it down here, and then you have to unfold it. When you're done, you should have it look like this, or like this, doesn't matter. And you should still have that crease line, so you should have a crease line, and then a line right through the middle. Next, you're going to want to do it again, but you're going to want to fold it on the crease line. So not like this, like this. Bottom of that, of bottom of that crease line to the top of this one. like so and then crease it again crease it then and then unfold it so when you're done you should have four squares and a crease line going right through them like that then the next part you're going to want to pay attention to so you're going to want to take one end of it and fold it up to the middle crease line Like so, and then crease it, and then unfold it. When you're done with that, it should look somewhat like this. So you have one, two, three, four, four rectangles right here, and two big squares. Then you're going to want to turn it and do the same thing on this side. So you're going to want to fold that up to the middle, and then crease it again, and unfold it. Then when you're done with that, you should have eight squares total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squares rectangles. Then you're going to want to take the bottom and fold it up. Oopsies. Then you're going to want to take the bottom and fold it up again to the middle line like that. So then you do that to the middle line, crease it, when you're done with that, 
you should have eight squares down here and four and four big rectangles. Then you're going to want to turn it again and do the exact same thing on this side. You're going to repeat it again, fold it to the middle line, crease it, and unfold. So when you're done with that, you should have one, two, three, four times four is 16. So you should have 16 squares total. Then turn it over like so and take one corner and fold it into the middle like that. And then crease it and keep it folded. So then you're gonna you're gonna want to do that. Crease it and fold. And you're going to want to do the same thing for every corner. You're going to want to fold every corner into the middle like that. So when you're done with that, it should look somewhat like this. Somewhat like a big square. Then you're going to want to unfold two flaps. To make sort of like a emerald shape. If you've played Minecraft. So it should look somewhat like this. Hopefully you have someone that looks like this. Now here's so, sort of the tricky part. Especially when you're using only one hand. You're going to want to take this corner right here and fold it to the middle. But right about, so you're going to want to take this, just this edge and keep trying to push that back down and push it and fold it sort of to the middle. And then crease it and unfold. So when you're done, it should look somewhat like this. Then you can unfold it, fold it back up just to make sure it's... And then you're going to want to repeat the same thing for this side. Just grab the corner and fold it inward. Crease it, unfold it, and fold it again. When you're done with the whole thing like that, when you've done both sides like that, it should look sort of something like this. Sort of like that. Now, here comes the, I say this is the hardest part, because now if you fold these two up like that, it's already in box form. You just have to get these two corners inside and fold them, which can be tricky, but it's not too hard. So, so here's what I always do. So if you take a corner, fold it in like that, so it's like that. So then you know that it's this part of the flap that will fold inward. That's how you will figure that part out. So the hardest part of this is probably this part. So I'm going to try and show you as best as I can. But I'm only using one hand, so it's going to be a little difficult. So you're going to want to fold it in like that. Make sure they're creased good because... And then I always go like this, so you know you have a corner like that. Push this corner down and sort of fold the whole thing on top of it. Sort of like that, sort of. I'll show you what it should look like. So you should have it like that. Okay, so you have that. So then you're going to want to take this whole edge and fold it on top of here like this hold on just right about like that just about like that so it's overlapping like that so there's it and then just overlap it like that and do that with both sides so you're going to want to do it here, 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 and here. So it should look somewhat like this, folded. But now you're going to want to take this, lift it up carefully, and then all you have to do is fold this flap downward like that. You might have to fix some corners and stuff, but you just fold it downward and match that middle part of this triangle right there and make sure it folds back like that. And then press down hard and make it a crease again. 
So when you've done that one corner like that, it should look somewhat about like that. Like I said, you might have to fold some more corners in like so. But see, so your box is coming into shape. All you have to do is do that same thing to this side. Just fold it in. And then fold this part out like I showed you in the first video. In the first, on the first side. So you just fold it in like that. And then, I found it to be easier if you fold it like that. And then you fold it inward like that. Then you line it up like that. So it should look somewhat like that. And then try to crease your little corner right there. Right there and make sure it's folded so it'll stay like that. And do the same thing to that other corner. So then again, it should look somewhat like this. And then all you have to do is fold it inward again, like I showed you, and then you may have to fix some corners again, like I told you when, you, when we were making that first corner. But then once you got it all folded, it should look somewhat like this. And the tape is to tape it right there. You don't need that, but it's just to kind of keep the box together. So then once you're done, it should look like this, and you can make a little a box just a little bit smaller, so you can make a cap for this. So, and, or you can make this be the cap and just put it on top of the smaller box. So you could make a little, this could be a little trash can for at school on your desk, or you could put jewelry in there or stuff, but it all depends on what you want to do. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.